Hi guys, it's TTL back with another quick rush kit for you. Now Nvidia officially, officially announced their GTX 1060 today. And there has been a lot of hype around it because it's obviously coming in at a very uh, competitive price, which we're hearing that it's going to be $249. Now, uh, some of the details that we do know is that it's uh, it's still Pascal based? It's still on this 16 nanometer process. Uh, 1280 CUDA cores, six gigabyte of memory. Although we are hearing there might be a three gigabyte cheaper one later. Uh, then we've got um, the memory bandwidth. As you can see, that's it's a little bit lower than the ones that we've been seeing from the 1080 and the 1070. But with the uh, compression that they've uh, got sorted out now. It's not going to be too much of a problem. Uh, boost speed of 1700 megahertz and then a TDP of 120 watts. But obviously, this is the box I got mine in straight from NVIDIA. And this is literally my first proper chance to uh, open the box and have a look. As you'll see that, oh, come on. I've not actually opened it yet. So this is the first time. This is, this is the virginial pop. Oh yes! Right. Come on, come on. There we go, right. Woohoo! Now, this is instantly making me think of something, and that's this the 960 that they did. So, this is the reference 960. Yes, I do have all of my reference cards. So, we can put that there, you'll see why I'm it's reminded me of that. So we've got this fin stack. Now, normally with the uh, like the 1080 and the 1070, you would look through this window at the heat sink that was underneath. Whereas this, that's actually metal. This is plastic. But that is a rather large chunk of metal. And I think, so yes, that, that is metal. I'm not allowed because of the NDA to pop it open and show you underneath. But uh, another critical thing that you should notice is six pin end of the PCB this is the end of the PCB here but six pins right the way up the end now I actually like this because it then makes cabling easier but it does make me wonder what's underneath this section here is it like a little extension is it a cable just in case like you water block it uh, will the um, aftermarket cards follow a similar kind of fashion but the fact that it does follow the current uh, NVIDIA designing for this part of the card, it's, it's a lot heavier than I would have expected. This is plastic and you can feel that it's, it, it does feel quite light. This has a lot of weight to it. Still got the Batman-y kind of like, almost like some sort of like spaceship type of feel on the top. Now, this was always just going to be just a look at the card itself because to be honest with you, the rest of the information is under NDA and I even had to get um, a permission to be able to make this video. But it's going to be an exciting time when I do finally get a chance to test this. But more than that, what I'm wondering is, where am I going to put it on the shelf? Because that's 1080, that's 1070, do I wedge it in there? Or is, do I need to, oh, I don't know. I think we're going to need to turn it all around. 